Good afternoon, Andrea. A lot of folks are heading home right now. They uh, came out earlier today. They've been out here for hours through the cold, through the muggy weather, and they think their message got through. I actually want you to take a look at the outdoor staircase leading to the front entrance of the Capitol. Thousands filled the entire length of it. It's the biggest turnout we've seen from the multiple rallies held over the last few weeks here in Frankfurt. I spoke to a lot of current and retired teachers, students and supporters out here today. Many were focused on the future of Senate Bill 151 that was passed in a late night deal to change the state's pension system. Take a listen. It's their model for everything. They want to defund any public entity. Everything, the solution this, this Republican Party has is to privatize everything, to destroy public owned anything. Others out here came to send the message they want more funding for the state's overall public school system. We'll keep you posted and bring you more reaction throughout the rest of the afternoon. But for now, live in Frankfurt, I'm Emily Arroyo, WKYT. Teachers here were very frustrated about what happened last week. They voiced those frustrations today. We will remember in November. We are responsible. We are engaged. And we are fed up. As lawmakers work to pass a budget this morning, educators and their families worked to be heard. Thousands showed up at KEA headquarters, many addressing the politicians that passed last week's pension plan. They are violating the inviolable contract and making it so our new teachers are having to jeopardize their future outside of the classroom so that we can shape society's future inside of our classrooms. Leaders with the Kentucky Education Association led the thousands in chants and cries. Educators here want state funds that go to local schools known as seek funding increased. They also want transportation for school districts funded and they are keeping a close eye on voting records. We must hold the legislature accountable for providing the necessary funding to keep their constitutional responsibility of providing a statewide system of common schools funded at levels that keep up with the current economy and the needs for 21st century learning. KEA leadership told us no matter what happens with the budget, they plan on talking with everyone they know come November. In Frankfurt, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT.